Howdy, howdy! Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Create with Sharon Happy Designs, where we like to help you take your slabs to fabulous um, with our products and yourselves. So we have another um, fun project this evening. I'm going to wait a few minutes and let some people get on in. Hey, Jen, let me put the, oops, not up there. Let me copy the link up there in case you need to click on eCam. And um, let people get in here. Hello, hello, Sharon and Kathy. Um, the lag time on here cracks me up. You have to be, as a presenter, you have to be patient. Hey, Bettina, because you ask a question and if you actually film it, there's like sometimes up to a 30 second delay and you're like, nobody wanna to talk to me? It's just the delay. So you just gotta learn that. Good morning, Vicki. Early morning. Hi, Diane. So, um, hey, Liz. So what I want to do is uh, I'm going to actually show you something that, um, that we've had around for a while, um, just as examples of what you can do. I want to let a few more people get in. Hey, Patty. Hey, Peggy. Um, because I want to have a little talk first just to get some things out there and um and then we will get to making so before that though i want to tell you that um as you all know we come up to my son-in-law shop and we carry all of our stuff here make a big old mess hey barbara which i'm good at making a mess and then we have to clean it all up and carry it all home and after two wives and evening um, it, it's a lot. Oh, well, thank you. Um, it's hot in here and I'm flush. <laughs> um, thank you, Jen. Hey, Nancy. Um, so we, um, it takes a lot to do all of this. Hey, Gail from Tennessee and Leslie um, and Chandra. So it does take a lot to do this. So I am experimenting with some other processes and way to do this. And so tonight is um, one of those experiments. So hopefully everything will go great. If it doesn't, we'll go back to the drawing board and come up with another experiment. That's just how we roll. Hey, Deb. Um, so, so that is, like I said, that is how we roll. Um, I do want to um, quickly, we, it's been a week, it's been a few weeks, it's been several weeks. So I do wanna address a few things. Um, I wanna address why I created this group. Um, I created this group a long, long time ago when I created my website and moved from just rolling pins to other things um, out of a need for People would email me, well, I bought this product from you. How do I use it? Hey, Cindy, I bought this. How do I use it? And so I thought, oh my gosh, you know, I know how to use it because I made it. And I know what to do and what projects I had in mind because I came up with them to make that. But that was inside my brain and y'all needed that information. Hey, Rachel. So that's how originally my original private group, Shoppy Shape Templates, was born. And in that group, it was, um, hey, Suzanne, it was a place for people who had purchased my products. They could come and I would um, demo how to use my products. Well, as my products grew and more and more people purchased the products, it became harder and harder for me to go, oh, this person just bought something. Let me go invite him to the group. Oh, this person, let me invite him to the group. 
And I had the group saying, well, we want to stay small. We want to stay small. Um, so from the private group for that, I went ahead and opened this, this group, this public group. And um, this, is, this is specifically for me to demo how to use my products the way I thought them up. Now, do you have to use them that way? Not at all. You can use them any old way you choose. You can use them for a Frisbee for your puppy. That's fine too. But I did need a way to show you all what to do with these products that I made because my whole point in making them was to make my clay life easier. I came from the glass world as a glass artist. Hey, Carla. And I, I touched clay one day and was mesmerized. I was hooked. Take this gooey mud stuff. And the next thing you know, it was like clink, 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 a real dish. I will tell you to this day, when I unload the kiln and clink the dishes, Hey, Cindy, when I unload the kiln and the dishes go clank, clank, I giggle. It's like, I'm still in awe these years later that you can take this mud. Hey, Mary Jane, you can take this mud and, and make real dishes. Um, and I love it. I am planning to get back to glass very, very soon in the future to incorporate some here. But... I hadn't really gotten back into glass since I've touched clay. It, I'm hooked. Um, but again, the reason I created this was so, um, well, how it evolved is this. When I was first in clay, I would get frustrated because I couldn't do things that I wanted it to do. And, and sometimes I'd just look at the clay and go, okay, make yourself something. Come on, jump up here off the table and become something. Um, because I'd look at a blank canvas and I'd stare at that blank canvas. And um, then I would make things and I'd drop things back in it and couldn't get things out and on and on and on. So I started creating stuff that would help me get better. And when I would post pictures, I had people messaging me, where do I get that? Where do I get that? Where do I get that? And it evolved from there out of requests and needs. So again, with my website, it became really apparent that I knew what the tools were for, but not everybody did. So that's why this site is here. This site is specifically for me to really demo projects that I had in mind with my tools, how to use them, um, how to take something and make multiple things out of it, um, all of those things. and. Whether you've purchased something or not, you are welcome to come to this group and watch and hang out and enjoy. I will say it really disheartens me that lately um, we have had a lot of not so nice comments, um, not, not so nice things going on. And so I want to reiterate and bring home that this group has a zero absolute zero tolerance for negative remarks, snarky remarks, putting anybody else down, anybody else's work down, me down, projects down, products down, anything in the world. This is not the place if you want to be snarky and negative. Um, this said, I don't want to ever have to say this again, but I will as comments get brought to my attention and or I see them, if they're made, I won't say a word. I will delete the comment, block the person, plain and simple. We're here to have fun. We're here to learn. Um, I don't care if you buy products from me or not, because even still the things that I show you, you can figure out how to use other ways. And I want you to do that. My thing has always been give you a skeleton let you run with it. Or maybe you learn like I do. I will mimic something 100% step by step and then go, oh, that's how it's done. Oh, get rid of that. Let me go do this and this and this. And that's what I hope for you guys. So that's the end of that. I, please, I really hope I don't have to bring this up again. But like I said, 
any negativity, any snarky remarks about anything at all in this group, delete. Just delete and block. That's what I'm going to do. So um, let's just play and have a good time. Okay. That being said, I am really trying to figure out a way that I can... Oh, one other thing. As you all know, when I started this, this one-hour session... Mr. Wilson, can you go choke to death outside? Thank you. <laughs> was that negative? That wasn't negative. That was a joke. Um, so, um, what was I saying before he so choked on me? I don't remember what I was saying. I don't remember what I was saying. It had to be important because, oh, 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 I know what it was. So, when I started this group, I was so excited and wanted to share this and wanted to share that and wanted to share this. And the hour turned into an hour and a half and turned into two hours. And a lot of people loved it. A lot of people also would say, I can't do that long. And I, then I never get to see the end. So I started thinking, okay, poor Mr. Wilson. Yeah, he's back. He's good, Jen. <laughs> You, you making it over there? Okay, he's, he's, he's nodding. He's good. So anyway, um, so as a product maker, a maker of products, which is never where I intended to be, but exactly where I am and loving every minute of it. Hey, I'm not sure. It's Facebook user from MS. So, hi. Who? Oh. How did I not know that? Wait, who? Oh, Penny, Penny, Penny. I thought you said the other Penny. Hi, Penny. Um, so anyway, so the next logical step in my business is when I'm away from making my products, that's time away from getting everybody's orders out. As my time started getting longer and longer, and let me tell you guys, getting ready for one of these is a lot of work. And I would end up the whole um, day being devoted to getting this ready, getting things loaded, getting up here, getting unloaded. So I decided that I can't really do a couple hours every Tuesday night for that one group. And that the, the next logical step was to create a place where people who purchased the products, who chose to want more, um, want more learning about the products, want more um, ideas for projects for each item and multiple projects for those items um, to create another group for that. And again, time and away from making, I chose to make that a membership group. You chose whether you wanted to be here or not. So that's the group that's at seven, from seven to eight. And I try to keep it to, for that hour as well to be considerate. But that group you also has classes and bonuses and, and stuff like that. It was a brand new thing. So everything's not all in place. Um, if it's frozen, Deborah, I'm not hearing that from anybody else. It might be your internet. Um, but try going out and coming back in. And let's see if anybody else says they're having issues. If they do, then we'll look at ours. But my internet says it's good at the moment. So anyway, I created the other group. Um, it's a founders group, which means we don't have everything in place. We're gonna work together and get it there. So if you hear me talking about slab to fab, that is that group. Um, right now, it is a small group. Well, it's bigger than I had anticipated, but small group and once we get all the pieces and all the puzzle into place and everything's rolling good um we will open it down the road but that's going to be a while because i really want to get that set up get it rolling and get everything there that needs to be there and um anyway so that's that i just wanted you to know what i was talking about might be you. Oh, okay. Might be Deb. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Kathy. Um, 
Jeez. Oh, you got it. Okay, good. Okay, so the new format that I'm going to experiment with this week, I've been, I've been purchasing all these programs to make this work great. You know, you saw the big switch from just my little iPad to a camera to an overhead to a background and all of that kind of stuff. So now what I'm doing is putting it together where hopefully I can make this stuff at home, be live with you here, and then pull in the video of making it at home in small chunks and then come back to you like this where we can talk about it, explain it, answer questions and things like that. So y'all are my experiment tonight. Let's see how this works. Um, maybe some bumps and bruises along the way, but we're trying so that we have more time to actually work through this stuff instead of, and besides, it's upstairs. And so instead of carrying everything up and everything down, so we're gonna try this, so be patient. And what I would like is um, after the live is over, because you know we gotta wait, there's a lot of people, this is a new night, um, that will wanna come in and watch the replay and all of that. So um, if you could either email me or even put a comment after the live is over, what you thought about it all, um, please do so. I am very open to making this the best it can be for y'all. Make your comments positive and constructive. I don't want, if I hated that, even if you did, you could say, well, I think if you try this, it might be much better because I'm going to listen for that one. So try that. It'll work. I love it. Um, anyway, so with that, we're going to try this out. And uh, I'm, hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that I set it up right. And if I did, what we're going to do now in this group is we're going to go to, um, I can show you. And then I, you know, then I have the, oh golly, how long can this sit here before it gets too hard to finish the project? But we're gonna start out with these and it's a nested set. I thought I would go back to basics. I actually got started because I accidentally created a nested set of something and posted pictures out there and everybody started, ooh, I want that, I want that, I want that. So nested sets is how I got started. So. What we're going to do is we're going to see about moving on to the making of that nested set. Here we go. Maybe if I click the right thing. Okay, let's get to making. We're going to make, these have been around for a while. These, um, these hearts have been around for a while. They're the hearts on the on the stencil, I mean the stencils with the templates. So what we're gonna do to start, bring this into the view for you here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, my B-mix, it's my B-mix, about a quarter of an inch. And I just got a little piece. I'm gonna go ahead and compress this a little bit on each side. I get my little round spot from my, my little hole, but that's okay. I'm gonna go right back over the top of that. There, how's that? So, what I'm gonna do is go around my template, same as I always do. I'm gonna actually come from this direction this time. See if it's easier, twist in my hand. I usually go the other direction, but I'm going to go this way this time and see if I can keep from twisting. I have a short elbow and I think this will help my elbow just going around and come out. And what I'm going to do is take this off, move it to the side just in case I decide to do something with it. And voila! We have a heart. We have a heart. Now, I am going to actually take the next size up, pull this off, lift. I'm touching the clay underneath to pull this off, unpeel it, and put that back on there. Now, I 
do have the little spot from the hole in the template. Whoops, that wasn't good. Um, let me wipe that off. And let me take that off just a little bit from that hole in the template. There we go. Now, I can take my sponge and go right around this edge and clean this up. If I see anything that I think needs to be a little more rounded, I can hit that with my finger. If I think, ooh, that could potentially cause a crack, I'll just stick my finger in there and get the hole or get the indent just a little better where I won't have to um, worry about it. And that's, that's how easy that is. What do you think? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stencil and set this on here. It goes better one way or the other. And whoa, come back. Goes better this way. So I'm going to put this on this way. Get this all lined up here. Rub it in with my pony roller. I like to make sure the clay is sticking up. Now, one thing to notice is we really only have clay out here. There's no sense rubbing or putting um, glaze here in the middle because it's not going to do anything. So I am going to take, I have some orange appeal and a little bit of cantaloupe in this one. But because I already have that, I'm going to go ahead and use this because I want to use it up. And I'm going to do different colors. This is a three-piece set. I'm going to do different colors on all three pieces. But see, I only have to go around this edge. Again, there's nothing in the middle. Whoops, make sure you get them all, though. There's nothing in the middle. So I'm just going to go around. Now, I'm about out. So I am going to go ahead and I think I'm going to add a little cantaloupe over that orange appeal. There was cantaloupe in here in the first place. I'm going to put a little cantaloupe just to give it that interest that I love so much. And really, I mean, it's just going to be the hearts that you see. So... You don't need a whole lot. You're still going to see it in there. And I want to make sure I get um, you know, a good couple coats on here so it's nice and bright and pretty when I fire it. Find some for my holes here. And uh, that's it. Now, I am going to go ahead and pull this stencil off. Probably shouldn't do it quite this soon, but I'm gonna pull this off so that you can see it. Woohoo! I like to pop it down, but look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Now, when it dries, or even before, or maybe not at all, you see where it kind of the glaze kind of got around the outside edge? I actually kind of like that. I think I'm gonna leave it. And I'm actually going to enhance it in a couple spots that didn't get it. And that just kind of gave me a pretty little border all the way around. I like that. So in this case, I just added to it. And now it's got a pretty little border all the way around. So I'm going to set this aside. I will... Put it on plastic. Let me see if I have a plastic over here. Hold on one second. Let me grab plastic. Oh, that's not a very big piece. Okay. What I'm going to do on this is while I'm letting my glaze dry, I do want my slab to stay nice and wet. So I'm going to find a spot that sticks out a little bit. I can get my finger under. Lift that. Slide that off onto the plastic. 
And then I'll just set that aside and let it dry. And get this back. What do you think? I tried to keep it short. By the way, I forgot to tell you, you can still ask questions and all of that while it's going because continued, I would do pieces like that and be able to then come back out to you like this and then answer questions or anything like that. And um, one of the things I really, really want to know is in the video, could you hear me? Could you hear me well enough to get through it? Um, was I speaking loud enough? That is important to me. Um, and um, the hard thing, if you've noticed, I do talk with my hands. So the hard thing was sitting here watching myself going, put my hands still, can't talk, can't talk. Um, so, um, so I'm seeing, yes, yes, yes. Oh, that would be wonderful if this works. Okay, so yes, less distraction, clear sound and visual. Love it, love it. Um, keep those and ideas coming. Um, I am always open to ideas, open to make changes, whatever works. Um, it, and yeah, it is, it is less distraction. So what I didn't do, because this was an experiment, was I just did that part. Thank you, Shirley. I just did that part and, um, and then I did the other ones. I did the other parts and I brought them with me. Um, here you find it went very well. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so what I did was I brought the hearts with me all done, and then I'm going to finish the project here with you guys. And so doing that, where's my, oh, how did that get over there? Okay, so let me, let me switch to the overhead um, because this time, oh, and can we use that stencil on the scalloped hearts? Um, this stencil is actually a nested set. It actually comes with, um, did you, no, the, the push plates. Please tell me we brought those. Uh, did we not bring them upstairs? I don't see them. You might have to run down there and see. That will be bad. That would be bad. No, they're not under here, so hurry, please. Okay, so um, so what I did, I'm going to go to the overhead and put myself, whoops, that's not where I want myself to be. I want uh, picture in picture round. And I want picture in picture. And I want there. Let me stick myself up here. So um, so what I did was I, I did the other two because you watched one and I thought, no, that's not a good use of your time to watch as I do the others. Um, this one was cantaloupe and peel uh, orange appeal. This one I did with hot tamale and pink abu. You like the side by side? Is that big enough? Let me see. Side by side. Will crop split screen. Well, I'm going to leave it like this for now, so I'm not wasting your time, but I'll work on that. I'll play with that. <clears throat> and on, um, yeah, because this one I don't have. Hold on. Why am I, this not working? I need to zoom this in. There we go. There we go. And then put me up in the corner. And I can even make it bigger if that helps. Wow, that green background is, woo. Not very good on the complexion, is it? You didn't find them? Are they in the front, the right behind my seat, my the driver's seat? I thought I put them right there. Or on the table downstairs, I brought them in. Did you look at the table going right outside the door? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do these if the press plate made it. If not, um, what I plan to do is just press them into three where they're going to then fit right inside of each other. Um, 
from now on, if you like this, this design or this set it, I will have places where I make it. And then I come back and talk to you. We can go through questions and do all of that. Yes, it's stroking coat, um, wonder glazes. Um, and so that you can ask questions and we can go through it and then we'll go to the next phase. Like this would be a video where I'm actually pressing the hearts. I know I brought those hearts. He's just not finding them down there. Um, the press plate. There goes his phone. Can you hear that? Hold on. He's downstairs. I got to shut his phone off. Okay. So this format, I would finish this at home. It would be the next video. So like at this point, I'd say, okay, now let's go to the next video. And then we watch as I press these into the actual dishes. Um, you had trouble trying to glaze on top of the clay with the stencil. So you have to put the stencil on the clay when it's wet. And, oh, I don't have my pony roller. <laughs> Roll it in with the pony roller so that the stencil is, the clay kind of comes through the stencil. So that, uh, did you look like in the, where the seat came down? And everything? I did. And you looked on the table downstairs by the door where I brought everything into? Okay, well, we just won't be able to show that part. So, one, one mess up would be that I only did the first video and was gonna do this part here just to give you a feel for both. I guess we forgot the push plate. So, it's gonna be all or none from now on. We'll do the videos and come back like this because without the push plates, I really can't um, show this part. Make sure you look at the table coming in the door. Okay. Um, which means, let me do this real quick. We were on such a good roll, too. It was working good. I'm going to put these in plastic. But you can get an idea. If I press this in, this is going to come up. This one's gonna fit right inside of it coming up. And then this one is gonna fit inside of that coming up. Look how pretty that's gonna be. But I did kind of want to get back to basics to the nested sets. Um, because um, that's where I got my start. And tonight was kind of going back to the beginning and explaining things. Um, well, Sherry, um, I'm not sure if you were on from the beginning but we're not going to be doing the, the actual making right here. I'm gonna do it on the videos like I did. No. Would that not be funny, Deb? No, they're not. <laughs> I wish they would have been. Anyway, um, he's not seeing them out there, but I will cover these in plastic. And all I'm gonna do, guys, is take the hearts and press it down. It's gonna bring my sides up. And then I'll, when they're dry, they'll set right inside of each other. Um, my real thing about tonight, though, was my original message. And how do you feel about the format if we're doing the videos this way? And again, the videos would be complete. Um, I would have done this at home. So you would have, you know, we've gone into the next video and you would have seen it all. Um, so I wouldn't. I would no longer need to bring a list because everything would be done there. Um, so what do you think? And are the push, yeah, no. They're not under the phone. I, I had them in my hands. That one's on me. I did have those in my hands. And knowing me, I probably ran in to use the restroom and set them down. But um, let's, uh, let's have a little chat. You do, from what I'm seeing, tend to like this being, yep, Melody, you missed it all, um, but it's all on replay. Um, that is, these are on my um, website already. They're under uh, nested sets or specialty sets. They've been there. These are old. Um, these have been there for over a, well, they've been 
there a long time. So they're up there. Um, Melody, you came late to the party. Um, you've had people asking for these, Leslie? No? No. Well, when I go downstairs and pull them out from under my car seat or something, oh, my car seat, I don't ride in a car seat. <laughs> I didn't put them under my seat. I thought I put them in the floorboard behind my seat um, or in the back, which means they're probably sitting on the counter. Oh, well. Um, what about the stencils? This, okay, so this set, this set um, is actually the three pieces, um, the three templates and the three stencils. This one doesn't have, so this one would be under specialty sets because this one does not have the um, push plates with it. This is just the template and the stencil, but it's been out there. It's been there almost since the website went up. What? Oh, I can do that. There we are. Okay. Um, yeah, groceries are important. I agree with you there. Um, so, please, please, we, we would have gone another 15 minutes doing these, but since we didn't have the hearts, and think about this. Trying to remember to get every single thing Oh, I'll, I'll tell you what those are, Chandra. Hold on one sec. I don't have to remember everything anymore. I don't have to make a mess here. Me and Mr. Wilson do, don't have to carry 100 things up and down the stairs. Um, and I do, yes, we do have the heart push plates. We have them um, as dual drapes as well. Um, and um, this way, the video portion like I saw somebody comment, is much calmer, much on task. And then we get to chat between them. So, um, you already have the heart forms, Sherry? So, yeah, then, um, oh, okay, yeah, then the stencils and the, and the templates would be great. So, I will say this. So, the, these happen to be a three-piece set. The, the heart push plates, oh, I'm not on the overhead anymore. The heart push plates um, come, as, come separately and they're a four piece set. But what I do is when I have my heart, oh, the heart push plates are a three piece set, but the heart drapes are a four piece set. And I always use the drapes because the heart push plates are showing, Sold out? Okay, I'll have to go fix that. But I don't use the push plates because they're tiny and they're a half inch and they're they're um, a harder edge. Um, when we switch to the new kind of like the, the, the drapes, I like the drapes so much better. They're rounded over on the one side and they are a bigger heart. And what I was gonna say, I'm gonna switch you up here really quickly. So even though this is a three-piece set and the drapes are four-piece, there's a, you can go with this, the first three, the smaller three, and it won't fit the whole thing. It'll be littler inside and that gives you a bigger organic push. Or you can use the second, third, and fourth size. So second, third, and fourth. And that will like fit right inside these dots. I don't know if you can you take the plastic off. I don't want these to dry out till I get home. So see the the dots right there on the the these dots. So the second heart drape fits right inside here. So does the third, and so does the fourth, respectively. Um, but um, I should not be stuck in those because I'm messing them up. But anyway, or you can choose to go the three smallest and, and it, then it only fits like right inside here and just gives you more of a crinkled edge. So the drapes give you options of which way you want to go. And um, the push plates, they, you know, like I said, they were designed for the rim templates um, to mix 
to meet the rim templates and only be smaller. So every rim template set we offer, you could have used the littler push plates to push and make it all wiggly around there. Um, but I pretty much always use the drapes now. And um, with those, you can drape it over. You could take these hearts and drape it over and make a dish, make a plate. Or you can push and um, and get a bowl, whichever you choose. Oh, yeah, the, the stroking coats. Um, I, I've created a monster in myself too because the stroking coats bisque fire to a beautiful gloss. I do still then dip in clear because I'm going to stay on the overhead for just, oh, let me, let me put me back up here for a second. I do still afterwards dip in clear for a glaze fire because there's so much of the clay that doesn't have glaze and I want it to be nice and glossy too. So I do still then dip in clear. And um, so the, the little heart was uh, cantaloupe and orange appeal. The blue heart was, um, oh gosh, blue yonder was the light blue and the other dark blue, I use it all the time and it is escaping me. I will, moody blue, moody blue. listen to him. Yeah, it was moody blue. And then the, the red heart is hot tamale and pink abu. They, they name their stuff fun and I like that. But you could make these with speedball I mean, you can make these with anything you want to. So, um, I am excited you're liking this new format. <clears throat> Clicking and bought the bought 10 new colors. Yeah, I, you know, I love them. I um, I went and bought, because I had the, the little sizes, and I went and bought um, all the big ones. And um, so... <laughs> Great, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> he needed the moody blue. I still, he's a Mr. Wilson. Um, yeah. Now, I really, I really just pretty much use the stroking coats when I use the stencil. Um, outside of that, I use different colors. Um, don't know why. I just haven't tried the colors without the stencils. So I'm going to have to do that as well. Um, let's see. Anybody have, um, can you mix the stroke and coat under glaze? Mix them as far as two colors together. If that's your question, yes, I do it all the time. What I do <clears throat> is I will <clears throat> pour them side by side and then as I'm using them, um, I end up getting them super mixed and <clears throat> that color up front, that first, when you saw the video when I was using the orange, that was what was left of um, cantaloupe and orange peel that had been, I poured into one side and then poured the other color, <coughs> excuse me, into the other side. <coughs> I just <slowed> wrong. <coughs> Goodness. So then I'll dip my glaze brush in one side and use that color and I'll dip it in the other side. And then by the time I'm done, I just like stir it all together and use that. And <coughs> yes, it will stick to your shelves. It's not an under glaze, it's a wonder glaze, which is really a glaze. I gotta get a drink, just real quick. It will stick to your shelves. Which is why you see me only using it on the top. Good point. Um, um, and when so when I do my clear, okay. And so I, I need to do a video on how I um, wax my bottoms because I don't paint it on. Um, no, no, no. That takes me way too long. Um, so I'm going to do a little video and show you how I do my bottoms. And so what I do is I take this, like you saw me do, I'll do my stencil stuff on the top, 
and then make my shape, whatever that's going to be. And then I determine the edge. Gee, do I want to take my sponge and wipe off any glaze that got on there? Or do I want to take my brush and actually add glaze to the edge so that the edge is all good? So that's one decision I make. And then, um, then I'll bisque fire that. And there's nothing at all on the bottom. So then I'll bisque fire it. Then I take it out and I dip it and wax my bottom. Let that dry. And then I go dip it in the clear, wipe the, the glaze off the bottom wax. And then once that um, clear is perfectly dry, then I can go take that, put it back in my kiln, set the pot on the shelf because the bottom's all waxed, and let it fire. And um, and that's what I do. And, and yeah, like um, Sherry's saying, that she likes to um, mix the colors or together so that they go in. Oops, that's not on. Let me show you this. See how I put those colors like that? And um, when they fire, like there's this one. Can you see that? See, and see, you saw me put that on and you see how it dries and what it does. And it gives you the lights and the darks and, and more of that 3D effect kind of when it fires, it's so much more interesting to look at than just a single flat color. Though a single flat color is still pretty. It, it's still really pretty. So let me go back to here. I do apologize. We didn't get the, the push plates here, but we were so excited to show this new format that I think we were just trying to hurry to get out the door. Um, yes, send, send Henry. Just ship him down here and I'll use him as a um, live model, Penny. I'm happy to use him as a live model. Um, let's see. I like the fundamentals. After Bisfire, just need a clear glaze or a celadon. Yes, and a celadon can work too. You just, I would do testing on your celadons to make sure that if you're using... Um, the celadons that your color will not mute your stroke and coats and that it will still show through. Can underglaze be used for overglaze? Which are you referring to these stroke and coats? If you're referring to these stroke and coats, they can be used either way because they really are a glaze. Um, I also use them kind of like I do with my speedball underglaze. If I have texture um, and I want it to be when I, when I bisfire, I want it to be really bright and glossy. I will use stroke and coat, put it over all of it, and then, uh, sorry, after bisque, after bisque. Do not put it on texture and try to wipe it away <laughs> before you bisfire because you just wiped away all your texture. I've done it. So um, you can apply the stroke and coats to greenware, or bisqueware, but if you want to apply it to a texture and then wipe it back so the texture shows through, that has to be bisque. Um, that definitely has to be bisque. We will wipe your texture right away, which is a whole new technique of his own, right? Um, so, <clears throat> so these can be used as either, as either. I have used speedball where I've glazed, like brushed it on a whole pot and then put clear over the top of it because I didn't like, I mean, if you just fire that, it's, it's not glossy. It's so, um, but I didn't really care for that look. I tended to get bubbles and, and I just didn't care for it. So, I love the stroke and coats for this technique. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Any other, any other questions, comments, <clears throat> things you'd like to see more of, things you'd like to see less of? Uh, this banner, 
will be going away. Christmas in July is gone. <clears throat> my goodness, my throat. Christmas in July ended at the end of July. Um, we'll do more Christmas closer to Christmas again, though. You don't see these stencils on my website. They are under um, specialty sets, I believe. Specialty sets, yes. They're on specialty, specialty sets. It's a set of three templates, three stencils. And they've been there almost since the beginning of the website. Um, and if, uh, if, um, so when I started the website, I had quite a few products because it's kind of hard to start a website with one or two things, but thank you, Jen. But, um, as things evolved, it, you know, things needed to get moved around. For example, um, drapes. The dual drapes used to be on the same page as the push plates, and I had one for each, and then every single shape and size was under that one, so the drop down became like a hundred long. And so we just went through and moved push plates to their own and drapes to their own. And I am very seriously considering doing away with the push plates because the duels do both. And you know, it's a, you, you can get two for one that way. You can push, you can, you can form out, drape over, you can push in, and again, they're rounded so they don't poke. Um, so I'm thinking we're probably gonna do away with the push plates and just keep the dual so it's not so confusing and not so many products. Um, let's see. Any more comments? Did I miss any comments? The push plates, uh, you can't get in. Will you go and see if you can? We just, we just fixed all of those. So um, I had my niece working on that, adult niece, but um, sometimes the... Um, it didn't get put to infinite, so they look sold out, but I can fix that. Oh, that was the other thing I did want to talk about in my little thing earlier. Um, Melody, go right ahead, honey. You can have one of everything. Um, um, that's probably because when she moved them over to their own, I forgot to tell her she had to click infinite, which only showed one and made them empty. I will go fix all of that. Um, I'll fix all of that this evening. Um, shoot, now I lost my train of thought. Oh, that was the other thing I did want to um, bring the point home. We are a small business. Um, very small, as in two people. And every item that leaves us is made by us, one of us, and packaged and shipped by Mr. Wilson. That part's by Mr. Wilson. But um, anyway, so my business model is and has always been and will always be we make to order. We cannot make a bunch of inventory and have it sit on the shelves and not know what somebody will or will not want. One, I don't know if you've looked at pricing. Um, our material pricing has tripled and I have not raised prices. Um, our forms and deep dishes and all of that, we use the very top of the line, the very top wood product, which is exterior grade, and it is a good three times more than just that regular wood product. And um, we haven't raised prices, and they've raised it on us. And I will tell you right now, we can't even get it. We are struggling to find it. Um, and I don't want to have to take a step down on that product to the, the next level, though it would still be an upper, upper end product. Um, but we are searching high and low and pushing all of our suppliers um, for the product that we use. 
And again, it is um, becoming extinct right now. Like I'm sure you guys have all noticed, a lot of things are becoming <clears throat> hard to get and they're tripling prices. So hopefully this whole nightmare will come to an end before long and business can go be back to usual um, because we don't want to, we don't want to drop down a level in our, our wood product because um, it's really so much better for moisture. It, it's not molding as much. It doesn't, you know, expand. Um, so we're just going to hope for the best on that. And you got into the push plate page. Okay, so he just tried and he was able to get in, put the link in the comments so she could just click the link. Click at the top, do copy, and then paste it into the. Um, the outer black forms with the push plates. I'm not sure what you're asking on that or what you're saying. I have plenty of toilet paper for this going around. <laughs> I'm still working on toilet paper from last go around. I hated it. You were forced into doing that because if you didn't, you wouldn't get none because you walk in a store and man, there were people with carts and they were running everywhere and just like, boom, boom, boom. I'm like, oh no. Um, were you able to? Here, let me, do you want me to do it? I can, I can put that link up there. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get with my niece and uh, have her fix all of that. But in the meantime, let me get you, which link did she want? Push plates? They show them oh, I, I, yeah, I can't fix that from my phone. I have to actually be on a computer to do that. Um, I will get those. <coughs> I just had my niece move every, separate everything. And I probably forgot to tell her to click a button that makes them in stock. Um, but again, we will always be made to order because um, we can't, we can't have a, a, you know, we're not Amazon. We can't have a big room full of inventory and hope somebody decides to buy that particular one in that particular size. Um, so keep that in mind when you order. We are, in my opinion, on time when we, when we ship within two weeks. Um, and we usually hit that two weeks um, or very close to it, depending on if there was a big spurt of something everybody loves. But, but on time for us is two weeks. So um, please keep that in mind and know that when you order. It's on the bottom of your invoice. Um, it's on my website. Um, so... Did you put that link in there? Oh, she got there. It's just sold out. I wonder, when did she do that? A week ago, right? Well, no wonder nobody's been ordering that. They're all sold out. <laughs> That's one way to get to take a vacation. Well, that means that somebody has ordered, because when you put that in there, there's automatically one and that's it. So that means somebody ordered one of each of those and that then put them to sold out. So I'll have her fix that, no problem. And um, of what kind of stamps? Oh yes, yes, um, stamps. Why am I not seeing her comment on here? Mm -hmm. I don't see any comment about stamps. But, so we did, um, yes, we will be, okay, so we are adding countries for um, international as people request them. And so if you want to place an order and you don't see your country, don't pick another country because the shipping is going to be totally different. Contact me. Tell me what the country is and we'll go at it and then you can order and we can usually get that done within the day. So, um, though, let's see, I think, Ragna, you did already order and you, you picked Germany. Um, we are working your order and um, there will be a difference in the shipping. 
Um, whichever direction that goes, we'll contact you and let you know. You could have paid more, you could have paid less. So we'll get a hold of you on that when we get to your, we get your order finished. Huh? Mm. From Canada? Nope, says Facebook user, but hi Heidi. Hi Heidi. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad to know Whenever you guys see something that's sold out like that, let me know because that, that would always be an accident because you can't be sold out when you make the order, right? Um, I got mine here in Canada. was so happy. Oh, yay. Yes. Yes. Great. Um, I think the one, the original internationals we were sending um, have all started getting to their destinations i'm so excited it was so scary um post office here was so horrible and and they still are um and i can't can't do anything about it i will tell you let's see what country is that that doesn't do tracking it's parts of the uk parts of the uk we have we're shipping to the UK, but parts of the UK, get this. We take the package to the post office and let them run the shipping because my software doesn't allow me to try to ship to the UK because there's some, I don't know, issues or something over there. But you can ship there through the post office, but they tell you right up front, you cannot track it. And you can't put insurance on it because all my international orders, I require insurance on those because if they're lost, they don't show up or whatever. You know, I can't, I can't replace three, you know, several hundred dollar orders all the time. So I do require insurance on those and parts of the UK, you cannot do that. They, they won't let you put insurance and they won't let you track. So if you're in the UK and in one of those areas, I will ship to you. But once it leaves me, I take a picture at the post office with the post office people having the package, and then I'm out. I can't, uh, I can't track it. I can't insure it, so I can't be responsible for that. But that's the only one. Um, Cornstarch trick with the stamps. Yeah, that's good. I take a big brush and brush it on so it's not all clumpy. You might have missed my question. I just wanted to confirm and clarify that the two weeks is business days and does not include weekends and when you get it. Yes, Rachel, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, it's business days. Um, if, if the wood and rolling pins, you can add a few days if they're like big rolling pin orders because the amount of time it takes to make those um, can really, really stack up. You can only make so many in a day. And uh, Mr. Wilson and I have been working 24-7. Um, I have to leave, going to enjoy a UTV ride with our dogs. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. Yeah, sab, Slab Fab, catch the replay. Um, do you find it better to mail USPS or, or UPS? Um, I don't, I, I've not mailed anything to PO boxes. And at this point, I've only been using um, USPS because UPS seems to be so much more expensive. And most of the things that we ship are heavy and big. And I try to keep the shipping as low as possible. Who is the last person that said, like the new format for sure? Uh, oh, Patricia, yay. Um, you have a package coming your way, um, but thank you. Yeah, it's. I think it's going to be better, and that way I won't forget it or anything, and we'll get to finish the correct way. Oh shoot, it's seven o five. I gotta go. She said UPS or uh, USPS. Oh, USPS is what I ship. USPS. But I gotta go, guys. I have my other group. Um, that I'm not actually late for now, but any other comments you have on this new format, only next week if you like it, the whole thing will be done this way where I can't forget anything. 
So thank you guys all for coming and I will see you next week.